Dun, dun. Hey, everybody. Greetings from our home. Juan Carlos just jumped up from the table and ran to the to the laundry room. He'll be here momentarily. There he is. Hey, Wonky. Hey. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you a quick update. We've had a lot of requests for a home vlog, a little info about the house, specifically Matt and Eric. Shout out to them. They requested a little overview of the backyard, so I'm going to give you that in just a minute. Uh, but I just came back home about an hour ago from my big venture uh, out to the grocery store. It's the first time in six weeks that I decided to actually physically go to the store rather than order the groceries and have them delivered. That's what we've been doing. Um, but with things the way they are right now, when I went online last night and started looking at items I wanted to purchase, I was seeing that a lot of them were not available. Uh, so it kind of concerned me and I was like, well... Maybe if I go to my local store, because I know they do shopping at a different store than the one closest to my house, they might have the stuff we want. Right, Juan Carlos? Right. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I braved it. I went out. I saw a YouTube video, and I encourage you, if you don't have a mask, just Google or put in your YouTube search, make a mask out of socks. And I made a mask out of basically a sock. It's gotta be clean socks. What? Just, just, just in case you're wondering, it's gotta be clean socks. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, clean socks, definitely clean socks. Um, so yeah, I did have a medical mask, but it was really small on my face, so I wanted something that would cover my face a little more. So I actually used both when I went to the store. Um, anyway, stocked up on groceries. We're probably good to go for at least another two to three weeks. We don't have to leave the house. Isn't that great? <laughs> Can you tell he's excited? Uh, anyway, uh, we still have a whole bunch to put away. Here's our counter full of some canned goods and stuff that I purchased. Um, I did buy some fresh produce that's over here waiting to be washed. And um, all of everything else, what we do, our little thing that we do. Um, and why don't I come over here? Let's sit and talk to Juan Carlos. What do we do with the groceries, baby? Um, so we have a table in the garage. So we... Pretty much just unload the car, put the um, the um, groceries in the from the backs to the table, and those are in a in a um, in a box, mm -hmm. a car cardboard box. We just open the box and throw those in a ziplock or just put in, in um, you know in a different container or something. So mm -hmm. we don't need to use the box. And we can, you know, just dispose that, that box and we yep, have goes, to use a uh, um, um, wipe. To, yeah, because yep. we, we, what we do is we have our wipes, uh, our Clorox wipes and our Lysol uh, and every single item. If it's in a cardboard box, we, we take it out. That way we don't have to wipe it down. We recycle the cardboard and then everything else gets wiped down uh, and then put away. Uh, and we try to do all of the refrigerated stuff first. And then we move on to the dry goods. That's just our little method. It does take a little extra effort. Uh, we might be a little overcautious, but that's what we've been doing since the beginning. As you can see, Juan Carlos raised his eyes. Did you notice that, everyone? <laughs> he thinks I'm a little over, don't you? Yeah. And I probably am. But we're going on six weeks and we're still healthy. So that's a good thing. And thankfully, everybody in our family is as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had a few friends that have come down with it, and thankfully they have recovered. So if they're watching, kudos to you guys, because their struggle was really difficult. Uh, one of our friends was like, you know, he was in bed for almost two weeks, fevers every day, not fun. So, but he's doing great now. So that's good. Uh, anyway, so this is kind of our day. Um, well, not really, because we don't go grocery shopping every day, but hmm. Juan Carlos is sitting at the table right now. He's on his computer. I have my laptop over in there. That's our family room. Um, and typically, we'll be sitting on the couch together with both of our laptops doing our work all day long, uh, depending on what we have to do. Uh, he does IT work, and I'm doing some editing work for some clients. And uh, then I brought all of my equipment home, so let me take you there. We'll be right back, Juan Carlos. Um, and then in here, I've converted my dining room, our dining room, to uh, basically my workstation. So I've got, you know, two computers over here that I do 
uh, some video editing, and then I do my photography editing at this station behind me. So I've sort of taken over the house and I've got cables running from upstairs, you can see <laughs> across here, down into this room so I could connect those computers because these computers are a little older that I brought home from my office that uh, they don't have wireless. So I needed to hook up an ethernet cable. But the good news is things are working. We're doing it. So Juan Carlos is done working. So what do you do every day when you're done working? Around 4, 4.30 or 5. Uh, once I'm done working, I do my daily exercise. Mm -hmm. Either run, because now I'm running again, finally. Yeah. Uh, or um, I go and do like one hour of yoga or some, you know, um, body weight ex exercises here in yeah. the house. Yeah, we've been utilizing the house. He does yoga, which he loves doing. He does that upstairs. Um, and then we typically get together and we'll do uh, water aerobics. So maybe we'll show you a little of that. Maybe I'll sneak in and show you a little of him doing yoga. Shh, don't tell him I'm coming though. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, he started running again. Not that you've never ran, but we did. We were kind of being a little, again, me. I was being a little overly cautious, and I was a little concerned because we we were doing, like, nightly walks through the neighborhood, and he was running, and uh, we noticed that there were a lot of people in our neighborhood that were not obeying the rules, and they were congregating in large groups and things like that, and it was a little concerning that you know, I just didn't want to walk through big crowds of people. Um, but we feel safe that we can now do that and avoid those crowds of people. So he's back running and we're going to start doing some nightly walks again. So there you go. So he's going to go do yoga. Uh, I'm going to continue showing you guys a little bit. Yeah? Wait. <laughs> Isn't this video fun? It's so weird. It's different. Usually we're out and about showing you exciting things in the world. And here we are. <laughs> in our little world. Anyway, enjoy yoga. I'll Let's see you in an hour. When? You're going to do water aerobics with me? Yeah. We're going to do some water aerobics today, too. Good times. We'll show you. <laughs> so here you go. Here's our little backyard tour of our home vlog. And I'm just going to kind of pan around and show you a little bit of the yard. Enjoy. One of the things we're super excited about is our beautiful Vanda orchids. Two of them are in the process of blooming. One has full flowers and the other one is about to open. And I think if I remember when it does open, it's gonna be beautiful purple flowers. So that's always beautiful this time of the year to see the Vandas blooming. crazy hair everyone. It's been about eight weeks since my last haircut so much like many of you I'm in dire need. So there's a little uh, tour of our backyard. Um, I thought I'd point out you know I showed see this giant uh, coconut palm tree out here. I actually planted that when I built this house and it was shorter than I am right now and it is now uh, like almost 100 feet tall. Crazy and it's filled with coconuts right now and actually once a year I have to hire a tree trimming company to come with a bucket truck to go up to that tree. I've got four of them back here and actually remove the coconuts. They're so high that I can't do it anymore safely. And there used to be a group of guys that would come around the neighborhood and they would actually shimmy up the tree with their bare feet and a rope. And I would let them cut them down and they would take them. But uh, 
they don't come around anymore. I think the trees are just way too tall. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, this is our little oasis. And to be honest, it's been great having this. And I feel very blessed that we do have this because it's great to escape outside and not just be stuck indoors the whole time. So fully taking advantage of the beauty that we have here in South Florida. And uh, it feels good. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So let's go sneak in and see what's going on with Juan Carlos. Come with me. Roll forward, cutting to the top of your plank will create a little bit of stability here. Press the ground away, wrap the tricep back. I want you to take the tailbone. We're going to lower the knees down to the mat. Shift forward, bring the chest down between the thumbs. Slide it forward for the first one, Bhujangasana. Roll the shoulders back. Slowly lower down. Press into the hands, curl the toes under. Keep the knees on the ground. Sit yourself back into child's pose. Time for water aerobics? Time for water aerobics. It is. Typically, we crank up the music in the backyard, we get in the pool, we do our thing. Uh, but for copyright reasons, we're just going to show you just a glimpse and throw some legal music that we can actually put on YouTube uh, just to give you an idea of what we do back here in our beautiful backyard. Shall we? We shall. Let's do it. All right, so acclimating to the water. Temperature outside here in South Florida, beautiful mid 80s today. Got my little resistance weights, as I call them. Purchased these. Uh, I've got a set for me and a set for Juan Carlos. These are great because when you use them under the water, it gives you some resistance. And mainly I do the water aerobics for cardio health, uh, maintaining uh, my weight, and just, you know, overall feeling good. So we're gonna use these. Juan Carlos finished his yoga, and now we're gonna get our aerobics on. Let's do it. All right, so we're acclimated to the water. We do our little warm up and we start with just running in place using our little weights under the water, giving a little resistance. Good time. And we sit and we stare at each other while we do. <laughs> and we talk about our day. So, how was work today? So there you have it, everybody. A little bit of our life here in uh, isolation and our beautiful home here in South Florida. Life could be a lot worse, right? But it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Very good. And as we always say, happiness, happiness is, is a lifestyle. lifestyle. And this is a little bit of our happy lifestyle and we hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if they haven't been to the channel before, what do they need to do? Subscribe. Yeah, simple, easy. Subscribe, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Comments and feedback are always appreciated, and we do answer every comment. So, all right, the mosquitoes are out. We're gonna go ahead and go in and rustle up some dinner. Peace out, everyone. Ciao. Be safe. <laughs>